respect to your first question, Kennedy, and by the way, I think it's a great concept that you're engaging in social issues that have great consequences for my generation and yours. So this is obviously a good start uh, for the generation itself, yours in particular. And with respect to the question of fairness, <clears throat> obviously it's, uh, any kind of any sort of disparity is not fair in healthcare, finance, uh, what have you, poverty in any area. With respect to uh, healthcare in particular, though, it's not simply a question of whether or not it's fair. It's a question of whether or not healthcare is perceived as a service. If that service is to be rendered by the government, being federalized, <clears throat> that is to say, paid for and provided by the federal government, or if it's something that's in the hands of the actual citizen, which means healthcare is a responsibility, an individual responsibility for those uh, who may need that service now in the future. And of course, even in that regard, it's a question of how would those individuals be accountable for their own health care, paid for it, and where would they seek those services. So of course, this gets into financial matters. There's not simply a feel-good question of whether or not, if I'm hurt, I should be able to get a bandage, of course. You ask that question in any sphere, the answer would be yes. But again, there is a greater degree of complexity attached to the question, and your second question addresses those complexities. With respect to the question of fairness, Kennedy, of course, I believe that any disparity is, by definition, unfair. Is the term. But I don't believe it's a question of fairness when it comes to health care. Uh, like many other things, I believe that it's a question of choices. I believe that if you do things to increase your availability of resources, then the, your, the quality of your choices improve. When the quality of your choices improve, whether you have a dollar or don't have a dollar, you have more freedom to make the best possible rational decision for you and your family. In that regard, often Patients come in and they obviously need assistance. They've come there for that particular reason. However, they've come, a great many of them, unprepared to put forth the resources necessary to, to achieve or to acquire the quality of care that they're actually seeking. Uh, in that regard, most of our time, other than practice, would be talking to, talking to uh, patients about uh, other available resources that don't require accelerated income. Healthcare is, uh, is an actual business. It's a service provided um, by those who can afford it. Simply, if you cannot afford it, then it makes most sense to seek it for the, by, from those who can afford it for you. And in doing so, you sacrifice the majority of your choices. No, there is no, there is no, how do I say, there is no minimum standard of care necessarily, because that's a vague concept. In actuality, all, it really, all we're really concerned with are with the, the quality of the resources available to us and if we have access to them. It's basic economic constructs. That, that's pretty much it. That being the case, if we reduce medicine to a business and reduce business in this regard to a service industry, which it is, in that regard, then the more financial resources you have, which of course has a link to your class status and educational background, not being a racial construct, <clears throat> then the higher, not necessarily the quality of care you can get, but the more choice you have, that you have over the medications you receive. And, is that, and then of course, with respect to the, the uh, choices and access to medication you receive, therein lies the quality factor. So in that regard, we can throw quality out of the, out of the way, really. The sole accountability for health care is up to the parent to provide for the child and for themselves. There are most places of avenues available to them. Now, there are means to acquire those particular resources. And again, that falls back upon those who need the care, simply. So that being the case, it is the utmost important for us to seek a better education, increase class mobility, provide um, local resources for those who are, for some reason or another, uh, trapped at a certain level, provide avenues for them to actually increase their mobility as well. 